But yeah, guys, just a fun fact. As you guys know, obviously, me and Baka support Liverpool, Dave supports Man United, and Ty supports Arsenal. Just a fun fact, you know, you know, United only have three UCLs. Arsenal, I don't even think they've been in the final of the UCL have, before they have zero. I'm joking, I'm joking, of course they have. But yeah, uh, obviously, no part five, so that's pretty sick. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. And in this video, guys, we're going to be predicting the results of the first four games of the Champions League round of 16 stages. We've got a lot of big games to talk about. Kudin Barza vs City, Juve vs Spurred, Madrid vs PSG, really big game, and Porto vs Liverpool. A lot of you guys have been requesting in the comments that we do Champions League predictions. And here you've got it, guys. We hope you enjoy it. And as usual, guys, this video is brought to you by OneFootball. It's one of the best football apps out there. The link to the app is in the description. Make sure you download it and let's just get straight into the video. All right, guys, before we start off, um, guys, if you want to be featured in the next video, just like, you know, our Premier League predictions, make sure you comment down below your score predictions for the Champions League um, um, score predictions. So just do that, guys. Comment down below who you think will score, who you think will win, who you think will lose and why. And comment down below, you know, some funny facts as well about Champions League. And yeah, guys, let's get right into the video. You, you obviously be able to get featured and stuff like that. But yeah, like I said, let's get right into the video. So the first game we have Basel versus Manchester City. I don't know why this was so weird to review get, um, teams outside of the Premier League. But yeah, Basel versus City. You know, Basel are doing pretty well. They're second in the league. Um, in their league and they have a really good striker you know the young talent um ajeti i think his name he's he's 20 years old you know he's doing he's doing a lot for for basel i think he will carry on doing a lot so i put him to score the first goal for basel to start off and then i put three goals for man city so the overall score i think is going to be a 3-1 win to city you know city are on form in the, in the premier league if you guys watch premier league probably all of you do um it's crazy how much the goals they've been scoring i think it's over 100 already and they're going to carry on scoring you know goals and it if it's the pre if it's the Premier League or the Champions League, they're gonna keep smashing it and score more and more goals. So I think yeah, they're gonna score three goals. I put a growth score two goals, and I put uh, the Bruins to score one and Ajeti for Basel. Moving on to the next game, we have Juve versus Tottenham. For this game, I put a two one win to Juve. You know, despite obviously Tottenham having a great great um, game, I think. Um, uh, against against um, Arsenal, I think I think Juve will win this game. You know, Juventus at home are one of the best teams in the world, in my opinion. You know, they're first in the league. I think without any losses, that's that's amazing. Actually, no, sorry, that's not. So you Juve have two losses, my bad. Um, yeah, um, they, you know, they're pretty well. They're, they're doing pretty well. I think you know, Dybala is going to score the first goal for Juve, and Higuain scored the second goal. That that Argentinian duo. And uh, Harry Kane for Tottenham, you know, Harry Kane's on form. He's been on form since, I think, October, and he will carry on being on form and score goals against Juventus. Um, so, yeah, guys, that's the first two games. Right, so for Basel versus City, guys, I put a 4 0 win for City. Um, you know, I think City are just going to walk over Basel. Even though Basel are at home, and as Man said, they're second in Swiss, Swiss, Swiss League right now, they're doing quite good. They've got Albion Ayeti, who's their top goal scorer right now. And like last season, Basel did go out in the, uh, in the group stages in, in the Champions League. So this season, hopefully, they want to try to go even further. But their group looks quite difficult. So um, I do think City will win this game 4-0. 4-0 will City fly in form in the Premier League. Can they win the Premier League and the Champions League? We'll have to wait and see. But that'll be a great season for them. But yeah, I put Aguero to score two, Sterling to score one, and De Bruyne to score the fourth. And for Juve versus Spurs, I think it's going to be a really tight game, guys. I put a 1-1 draw. I think Juve and Spurs, they play quite similar, as in they both kind of sit back and defend and counter-attack. And I think it's going to be a game where they're both going to do the same. But um, with Juve being at home, they're going to have that home advantage. And Juve right now, they're second in Serie A. They, last season, they got to the final Champions League. So um, Champions League is nothing new to them. They, they can go all the way to the final again. But I think this will be a 1-1 draw. Um, I think Debar will score for Juve. And I think Kane will get a goal for Spurs. Alright guys, so for the first game, Basel versus Manchester City, I put a similar score to Dave, I put a 3-0 win to Manchester City. Obviously Basel, um, they're not they're not the best team obviously in the in the UCL right now. But yeah, the second league as these guys said, they don't really concede too much goals if you compare them to other teams in their league. So that's that's a positive for them. But obviously, you know Manchester City coming there, they're they're amazing man. Top of top of the league, Prem definitely won that. And just smashing teams in the Prem. And if you're smashing teams in the Prem, which are hard teams, then obviously when it comes to Basel, they won't have too much information, but I think they should get a comfortable win. Obviously, it's the UCL, UCL prediction. You've got to get a little Arsenal fact in there, though. Last year, Arsenal did beat Basel 4-1 in the group stages. So, boy, if Arsenal's going to their ground and beating them 4-1, then City, boy, it should, it should be a, a cool mm -hmm. conclusion for them. And yeah, I put Aguero to get two, Sterling to get one. And yeah, that's 3-0. For the next game, Juve versus Spurs, I put a 2-1 uh, win to Juventus. I think that the home form of them was really good. They have won a lot of games recently. They've won a, a good winning streak in the league. So I think the Spurs will be hard, like a team to beat. But in the same time, I think Spurs, 
I don't think they'll have enough away from home. I think at home though, that's going to decide the tie in my opinion. But yeah, away from home, I uh, think uh, Juve is going to get the 2-1 win. Daibala Higuain to score the two goals for them. And obviously the one, the one man they got, Harry Kane, to score for Spurs. Okay, the first game of round 16, first leg, uh, we have Basel versus Manchester City. I'm going to say a 3-1 win for Manchester City. I think everyone's underestimating Basel. Basel, they, they, are, they are doing decent this season. They are second in the league and they did only lose two games in the group stage. And let's not forget, Basel did beat Manchester United 1-0 in the group stage for the last game to actually qualify for uh, round 16. So I don't think they should be underestimated. But seeing on the other hand, they are unstoppable in my opinion. They, they will get three points in my opinion out of this. Not three points, sorry. They will, they will get the weight advantage and get the weight goals. And uh, I think the buzz goal, goal scorer is going to be Dimitri Oberlin. He has four goals already in the Champions League. I think he's going to make it five. And goal, City goal scorer is going to be Aguero, Sterling and Bernardo Silva. So yeah, three on win for City. Good luck to Basel. Hope, hopefully they do good. They do have a young keeper. So I think he's an 18 year old keeper. So it's gonna he's going to be tested a lot especially with the C attack but yeah 3 one win for City in my opinion but moving on to the next game which is actually a big game on Tuesday you have Juventus versus Tottenham uh, Juventus I think they've only conceded one goal in the last 14 games they did reach the final last season of the Champions League can they do it again you never know but yeah I'm going to say a 3-1 win for Juventus at home I think they have the home advantage they're going to get the 3-1 the lead but Tottenham a 3-1 a free one result for them it's not the worst, like a really bad scenario, because oh, that away goal can come in hand. Because Juve do have to go Wembley. If Tottenham win two 0 they go away. They go, uh, they go to uh, quarterfinals on away goals. But yeah, a three one win for Juve with Higuain getting two goals and Bernadeschi and the goal scorer for Tottenham being the one and only Harry Kane. But let's move on to <laughs> last two games, which are on Wednesday, and both are really big games. Oh, very, very big games. Moving on to, I think the biggest game of of this of of that week. So, uh, Real Madrid versus PSG. I think everyone's going to be watching this game. I probably will as well. Uh, for this game, I actually put it to, uh, three to win to PSG. I think it's going to be a game with a lot of goals, guys. Uh, a lot of stats. Real Madrid have conceded twenty three goals this season. Twenty three goals in a La league, guys. There's not much players. There's not much players in the in that league that score goals. You know, in in teams and overall, the teams there aren't that as good. So, you know, coming up against PSG, PSG have a world-class attack force, you know, Mbappe, very, very good player. He's not world-class here, but he probably will be soon. Ne Neymar's world-class. Cavani could be classed as world-class. He's a very, very great striker. You know, he will be bullying Real Madrid's defence. Um, so, yeah, I think uh, Ronaldo will score both goals for Real Madrid, I think, including a penalty. And um, and I put Cavani to score one goal to start off the first goal and Neymar to score two goals. Hopefully, Neymar does play. I'm not sure. It's, it's not 100% confirmed if he's going to play. He was injured, uh, so we'll have to see. But I, I still put two goals for Neymar. Um, so yeah, three two win, and then the last game of of the first week of um, of the round 16s. I put uh, sorry, uh, we have Porto versus Liverpool, and for this I put a draw. I think it's going to be a two two draw. Porto are first in the league, guys. They have only conceded ten goals this season, which is you know really really good. You know the defense must be really good. Um, I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna front and say I've watched them play because I haven't, um, but I just based on stats, I think I think they're going to be pretty good. You know they're going to be having a solid uh, defense and a solid solid midfield, uh, and you know Liverpool. They, they, you know, they, they break teams apart, but it might be a tough one. So I did only put, only put for them to score two goals, not more than two. Um, and I put Porto to score as well. For Porto, I put um, uh, Abu Bakr to score the first goal and Brahimi to score the second goal. And as you guys know, Mo Salah is on form, so I put Mo Salah to score the first goal for Liverpool. And then for Firmino, you know, he's on 20 goals already this season. And I put him to score as well. Right, so for Real Madrid versus PSG, um, what a big game this guy, this, this, this is, man. Both teams could possibly win the Champions League, but one of them are going to be going out. And um, to be honest, for this game, I put a 3-1 win for Real Madrid. Um, you know, Real Madrid not in the best form in the league right now. You know, they're fourth in the Liga, but Ronaldo slowly getting back to his goal scoring form, and he always scores in the Champions League. And I do think he'll get two goals in this game, and Bale get the third. But PSG, on the other hand, you know, the top of League One, they've got, as Madge said, world class players like Neymar and Cavani and Mbappe, etc. Um, I, I, I do think they're going to struggle here at, at Bernabeu, um, but I put. Um, Neymar to score for PSG and for it to end 3 1 to Real Madrid. And can Real Madrid get a hat trick of Champions League three years in a row? Mm. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, for the next game, Porto versus Liverpool, um, I think it's going to be a really tight game. I think both teams are going to go at it, um, both really attacking football. But I think it's going to end 2 2 draw. Um, you know, Porto, as Man said, the, the top, of, top of the Portuguese league, they're currently unbeaten in the league as well. Got a lot of dangerous players like Abu Bakr, Morega, Brahimi, very, very dangerous players. But so Liverpool, on the other hand, you know, they got Salah, Mane, Firmino, who are in flying form right now. And I think, but I do think this game will end 2 2. Um, I think Abu Bakr and Brahimi will score for Porto, 
and Salah managed to score for Liverpool and yeah, Liverpool come away with the away goal advantage. Alright, so for Real Madrid versus PSG, probably the biggest game of this week. I would say a 2-1 win to Madrid. I just think that Zidane is under mad pressure obviously with the league form. They haven't been doing the best uh, compared to obviously the other seasons. But in my opinion, I think the Champions League is what they're going for now. That's their ambition like for this year, the major trophy. And I just think the the players are going to step up to the plate. You know, Ronaldo, they got too many world-class players to be like defeated by PSG away from, um, at home, in my opinion. PSG on the other hand, obviously Neymar, just amazing strike force. But can they do it as well on the all-round like world team as in like the defense can they can they handle Ronaldo etc I'm not sure about that but yeah I, in my opinion whoever wins this game is probably one of the hot favorites to win the UCL so this is a massive game I uh, put CR7 is going to score for Madrid and Neymar obviously if he is fit score for PSG and then for Porto versus Liverpool I put a 2-2 draw uh, exactly like Dave said Obviously, Paul are unbeaten in the league, so they're going to be really tough. On the other hand, Liverpool, their strike falls. Salah's an amazing form. I think I personally think he's going to bring it to the UCL as well. He won't be shy on the big stage, in my opinion. But yeah, I think it'll be a 2-2 mm. draw. Uh, Salah and uh, Emre Chan to get the two goals for Paul. And then Abu Bakar and Musa Maraga to get the two goals for uh, Porto. I think I meant Liverpool and Salah and Chan, obviously. But yeah, and then Abu Bakar and Maraga to get the goals for Porto. Mm-hmm. Okay, moving on to the Wednesday games. The big game, like everyone has said, Real Madrid versus Paris Saint Germain. Real Madrid, uh, two time holders, currently winning UCL twice in a row. PSG, on the other hand, lost. I think they got they got knocked out last year, six one to Barca. This year could be they they never know. They spend a lot of money, but yeah, uh, my score prediction with this game, I'm gonna say a two one win for Real Madrid. Uh, Real Madrid. Let's be honest. This season, they're not they're not the Real Madrid of last season, season before. They've been poor, and, but I still think they're going to come away with the with the advantage, first leg advantage, two one win. Uh, uh, PSG's coach Unai Emery, he did used to be Sevilla's manager, and he has played Real Madrid a plethora of times. He has beaten Real Madrid five times, but then again, he's lost to them fourteen times. Could he break this Zidane's team and hopefully get an away advantage, like two one for a two one win for Real Madrid? For this, it's, it's, I think that's a good result for PSG because Real Madrid goes parts of the Princes, they're going to struggle in my opinion. But yeah, my goal scorers for this game is going to be Ronaldo. He's on nine goals, the top goal scorer right now in the Champions League for Real Madrid. And in fact, in fact, for the whole Champions League. And the other goal scorer for Real Madrid being Lucas Vazquez, uh, Zidane's most played player. In, in spite of having Ronaldo and whatever, Vasquez is the most play, play player in Real Madrid this season, which is weird. But uh, PSG score, <laughs> goal scorer being Edison Cavani, he's on six goals this Champions League, joint second top goal scorer with other players. But yeah, Real Madrid 2 1 win first leg. But moving on to the next game, we have FC Porto versus Liverpool. Uh, like everyone said, FC Porto, let's, let's, they, haven't, they haven't lost in the league yet, they've only conceded 10 goals. But then again, in the group stages, they have lost two games up and have conceded 10 goals in six games. And in my opinion, I think Liverpool will win this game 3-1. We'll get that with a really good away advantage, in my opinion. The goal scorer for Porto being Suarez, um, Suarez and the three goal scorers for Liverpool being Salah and Bobby Firmino getting two. Firmino, he's in terrific form in the Premier, in the Premier sorry, uh, the Champions League this season. Uh, <laughs> joint second with Harry Kane and so on with six goals and three assists. He's on fire in the, in the Champions League. Salah, on the other hand, five goals. So like, let's be honest, but this guy this season, 29 goals, 7 assists from a winger who's 35 million. Mm, I love it. But yeah, um, Danilo, Pereira, Danilo Pereira is out for Porto. He is, he's injured, but Liverpool, we are missing Emre Shan. He's suspended. So Henderson in, in, in the DM role. Uh, yeah, but I still think we're gonna, Liverpool are going to walk, walk away with a 3-1 win in the first leg. But yeah, that's been the first set of predictions for the first leg of the Champions League round 16 group st uh, predictions. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video guys. It's been obviously the round 16 predictions. Obviously guys, stay tuned for next week for the next the next set of um, obviously the predictions. But yeah guys, just a fun fact. As you guys know, obviously me and Baka support Liverpool, Dave supports Man United and Ty supports Arsenal. Just a fun fact, you know, you know, United only have three UCLs. Arsenal, I don't even think they've been in the final of the UCL have, before they have, have zero. <laughs> I'm, joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, of course they have, but yeah, uh, obviously no part five, so that's pretty sick. Anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video, it's been um, obviously the, the, the ground, uh, round 16. If you haven't already guys, make sure you comment down below your score predictions to be featured in the next video, you know, give us some facts as well, um, comment down below who you think will score, who you think will win, who you think will lose, etc, etc. Make sure you smash 100 likes guys, that would be more than appreciated guys. 
follow us on our social media, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. We're going to be posting a lot on our social media, so make sure you follow us on that. It's been a four-go show, guys, and peace, guys. Peace. peace. peace.